<clears throat> hey everybody, this is GameGreat10124. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Umbral. Not sure why I have the frickin' Pokemon uh, team menu up, but anyway. Um, been over a month since I last recorded this game because I've been busy with other stuff and I'm finally, finally getting back to more of this Let's Play. Guess I'll show something off briefly I've been doing off screen. I could have eventually did this in a different way, but I opted to do this off screen because of plans I have for the game and other stuff. But yeah, I got Seed Out. Apparently it's super rare on the route to the east of Petalburg. Got a Magnemite, got a roll. But this Magnemite helped me catch a bunch of different boxes of Pokemon, which are the trade fodder for uh, eventually trading my Pokemon back to this game from Pokemon Leaf Green that were on this game before I opted to delete the save file for this Let's Play because of the other Emerald I got that would, would have kept giving me absolute hell to keep playing because of it being a reproduction and not an original copy. <coughs> At some point, it's part of the Let's Play, even if it's like a one-off extra video, I'll maybe not in detail, but at least show off to some extent the Pokemon that I decided to keep, because there were some Pokemon that I essentially uh, sur I uh, forewent keeping, and there were Pokemon I, I, I opted to be like, you know what, th so many of these Pokemon I'm not gonna trade over the leaf green and then trade back to this file, I'm just gonna let them sit in the uh, on the file, uh, the previous file that I deleted, so I essentially Thanos snaps the Pokemon that I decided to not bother with trading over <clears throat> the Leaf Green as a placeholder game before eventually trading it back to this game. <clears throat> it looks like Ma both Maxi and Archie have gone away somewhere. Perhaps they've gotten them apart to return those orbs. I'm sure that you'll be dazzled by my mentor's taking a lead, elegant battle style. And I don't think I did any leveling up off screen, but I don't remember. I wouldn't think so, though. Yo, how's it going, Champion Bound? Suchopolis' gym leader, Juan, is a master of water type Pokemon. If you get Juan, two Juan and Icy Four will hamper your progress. Listen, I'm sorry, but that's all the advice I have for you. The rest of the way, you have to go for it yourself. Now, you sent, you're essentially doing the same thing, but they did change the puzzle up a little bit. The first two, I think, you do pretty much the same exact way. Is and Ruby and Sapphire, but this last part you have to do a different way. They change it up a bit in from its Ruby and Sapphire comic part. Actually, why am I saving? Because I'm going to be intentionally falling through anyway to fight the trainers. I will save here though. This is gonna massively matter, but I will. And of course, one major difference in this gym from the original Ruby Sapphire is the fact that you can, in this game you can actually do double battles with the trainers in this game. You're so glad to cross the ice wall, harnessing the lines. The trainer putting on that performance would be elegantly beautiful. Oh crap, I still have animations turned off from my catching Pokemon catching grind. Well, at least I didn't by failing to turn the animations back on, I showed off that when you have the animations turned off in this game, the Pokemon don't have their entrance animations. So it essentially looks like it did in Pokemon, Ruby and Sapphire, when Pokemon come out. Really? 
isn't any kind of, I'm kind of a moron though, for doing that, but whatever. Ice Beam, dead. Let me see the amulet coin situation after this level up. Oh, excuse me, princess. Is it 5,000? Yes. Yeah, previously I've been hiatusing. The past month I've also hiatused um, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, which the next thing I have doing that is doing the Sevy Isles and Pokemon Fire Red for extra videos for that. I have hiatused that um, in favor of doing stuff in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Pokemon Gym of the highest level in the Hoenn region. That's the Shootopolis Gym. And, uh,. I'm hoping tonight, yeah, to finish leveling up the Amiibo I started last Thursday, so on Tuesday this week I can finally get back to that Let's Play, and I'm for sure 110% wanting to, and should be able to, uh, finish my Let's, let, let's Play of Let's Go Pikachu before the Diamond Pearl remakes come out. Another thing I will say is I guarantee I will not be done with stuff in Sword and Shield before the... I get to my diamond let's play, growing your diamond let's play when the game after the games come out, so now we do stuff in that and pearl, so God knows how long it will be, but eventually I am wanting to get back to my sword and shield let's play stuff. But it's gonna be a, a long while coming. We'll see if I have any time to do any sword and shield stuff at all before the Diamond Pearl remakes come out. <laughs> what a high level you are! Also, I didn't talk to her. This is really obvious, but how strong you you are as a trainer has nothing to do with how young or old you are. Rather than being satisfied by being in a strong gym, I imagine training in other places that will make you stronger, but above all, it looks more fun. No idea what you just said. Let's see, will she turn around? Oh crap, I need to train animation back on. You came all the way here, but I, yeah, you won't get to see Guan. Not if you lose to me, you won't. Alas, it's gotta be. I didn't think there was any way it would be a battle, girl. I'm hoping to get to my Let's Play of Battle Revolution this year, but that depends because there's this Let's Play. Then after I'm done with this Let's Play, I'm returning to my I'll be returning to my Let's Play of Pokemon XD, and with all the stuff I have to do in that game, the rest of that Let's Play when I get back to it will take me at least two to three months to finish, if not longer. So unfortunately for you guys and for me, because I'm really wanting to get to the, my Let's Play of Battle Revolution, I it's very likely I will not get to. Uh, even starting that Let's Play until next year. You're strong, I was fooled by your cute looks. Okay, turn animations on before I keep forgetting. <laughs> your great anime look is so charming. I won't give specifics on what yet, but I will be using my main team from this Let's Play for something in my Let's Play of Pokemon XD. Stupid Sea King. Also, Aerial Ace is naive with that, so Double Edge does more for me. I'm enough to knock it out. 
fly is 70, so it's only 105. So in this generation, prior to its buff in power, in generation 4, double edge does more damage. Also, where's my yellow flute? Now, a couple days last week, I um, recorded one, a couple of Let's Plays, finished one, and then started another that you guys won't be seeing for several months into the future, so that's why um, I didn't start Animal Backup last week, and as such, I will be doing a more of my Let's Play Pokemon Emerald tomorrow, so there'll be videos tonight and tomorrow of this Let's Play. Oh dear, I went too much too easy on you. Also, the reason, and I'll mention this in another stuff I record as well, including more of these videos, the reason I didn't do as much last week as I planned on, the reason, one of the big things is, the reason I didn't get into any Mario Party view last week is I had something unforeseen end up happening to me, and I needed to end up dealing with that, so I had, had to <clears throat> get home from work one day, I had to lay down, and then I had to, had to take the next day off, so that's why. I had something come up, so that's why I didn't end up doing any Mario Party 3 last week. Is she gonna see me in front of her? Yeah, I kinda figured not. Also, let's heal Sierra Marie real quick. Soda Pop. I just realized. I was thinking it healed 70 HP. Kinda sad, because I think that was a Gen 7 change, not Gen 8. I'm not sure. When I'm with my Pokemon, the time flies before you can say oops. I trained my Pokemon to get a level blind. No, it's ain't got my push over. Freaking beautiful outside. Motorcycle over the radio. Let's see. Oh. No, because Slamperl has more. Oh, yeah, Psychic, I guess. Let's see if that one shot's like a Slam. Even Slamperl has good defenses. Yeah. I could have used Earthquake. Oh, well. Might not have knocked out the Slam Slamperl. So glad I ended up talking to the person that was moved Tutor for Double Edge and put it and put that on post crush. Or it probably will not knock out the marrow. Oh, it did. I know Metagross is a pseudo legend in terms of its physical offense, but still. See if that Lone Bray doesn't use Fake Out. Hey, how dare you get out? I would say die, but it doesn't die. If it was a wild Pokemon, I would say die. Because in fact, it says the Pokemon fainted enough. If you knock out a wild Pokemon, it's dead. And some other Pokemon that's higher up on the food chain will eat it. <clears throat> that may sound gruesome, but huh, there's some very dark Pokedex entries. One thing I will make a shout out to is check out Smosh's recent video of Stans vs. Normies. Uh, the Pokemon one. 
Like, other than the very last one, I got every single one of those questions correct. It's, it wasn't that hard. If you're first in a wall, first enough in Pokemon knowledge, all that stuff was easy. The, where, the very ending they did, though, that was pure evil. Literally no one would have got that. Um, just a sec. The sight of one conducting a battle, the very beauty that compelled me to become a trainer. Also, I didn't switch Skarmory around. I can battle with really rare Pokemon if you'd like. But yeah, that thing they did at the end there, almost, like, maybe, like, if, if anybody all would have gotten it, like, anybody watched it, that had gotten they asked those questions or watched the video, but what, less than 1% would have gotten that correct. Nobody, like, that everyone would have guessed Voltorb or Electro. Nobody would have freaking guessed that that silhouette was a top-down view of Jigglypuff. Like, that was pure evil, the people, the producers that came up with the questions for that Smosh video. That was pure evil. Nobody would have gotten that that was freaking Jigglypuff top down. Everyone would have said Voltorb or Electro. I was thinking it was Electro because it's like, eh, at first I thought Voltorb, and I was like, no, that's too small to be Voltorb, it's gotta be Electro. Nobody would have freaking gotten that was top down Jigglypuff. That was pure evil. You battle more beauty than I can muster. Oh, there now, did you help me with like my Pokemon? Holy money, over 21,000 with the amulet going. Oh crap. Oh wait, never mind. That would just. Okay. I threw myself off. But anyway, um, Lax and Sense for you. I'll show you the sublime techniques that I learned from our leader one on. One thing I don't know would be interesting to know is if any of the dialogue of these trainers was kept the same and literally the only thing that was changed was the uh, from Wallace to Juan since Juan was or since Wallace was the gym leader in Ruby and Sapphire. These are getting me one. Oh wait, I haven't been talking to them. Watch what happens if you crack all the floor tiles. Now I gotta go back there and talk to them all. Yay me. I should teach you how to hard, how harsh battles can be. You're strong. Miracle seed on this little one. Yes. Oh, also, Tuff already has an amulet coin, so I don't need to put one onto it.
heal a post crush just in case I want to send it out for a heal fodder or something. I shouldn't need to with my levels, but just in case. This is really obvious. Okay, yeah, I already read hers. Might be good enough to avoid being wiped out in one hit by one. I wish I could forget about Lost Causes before I could manage an oops. Don't know what the heck that statement's supposed to mean. I think it's potential. Why don't you stay in trade with us? Rather than being satisfied with being strong in the gym, yeah, I read that. You can lay a finger I'm on, I'm sure, Giggle. Whatever. Here's shooting to battle is fabulous, so I'm both fortunate to have found Pokemon. You can give the shoot because Juan praised me for my darling Pokemon. Oh, if only I'd met Juan years ago when I was younger. And I'm out. And I already talked to these two. I'll tell you the, something good. If you want to reach Juan, you need to walk on East Fortile once. Most people going through this their first time and talking to you have already kind of figured that out. All you have to do is one backtrack step and you'll find it out, so... Like, maybe all they did was mirror the puzzle, I don't know, but I do believe you want to start from the... Do it the... Like, it's... Um... You wanted to go one direction... Star going one direction in Ruby Sapphire, you want to go the op star going the opposite direction in this version. Yeah, then you do this. There. I got it. And just to show up that yes, once you beat it, you can still fall through. <clears throat> Let me ask you, did you know? I should not be so coy. It was I who taught Wallace everything there is to know about Pokemon. Once I had given up my position as gym leader, in my place I had entrusted Wallace with the gym. However, a compelling reason arose for me to come make a comeback. Ah, but enough chatter. Let's let us begin our match, shall we? Please, you shall bear, bear witness to our artistry, a grand illusion of water sold by Pokemon and myself. Gotta love his outfit. They brought him back in uh, Black 2 and White 2's Pokemon World Tournament. I mention that because those are the only other games Juan is in. Kind of a shame they didn't do any sort of a thing at all for him in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, but whatever. if he has like a Pelper or not. That shouldn't matter since Petal Dance is quad effective. And I've got the levels. Good. I don't think so. Celio. Let's see, Petal Dance Power plus Miracle Seed, are you able to knock this thing out? I'm thinking not, but we'll see. Good. Glad I stayed in. Kingdra.
one earthquake war, I probably won't knock it out. So I'll start off with a knife beam to do some chip damage, and then earthquake should be able to finish it off. Also, I think this is actually his ace Pokemon. Oh come on! Can you not be a cheap piece of crap with that double team nonsense? Get the freeze. Good. As you get for trying to be cheap with double team, watch it immediately fall. It did. Come on, really? I swear, if you get the freeze back on me. Good. Get out. Ice Beam did that much, my special attack kind of like you're gone to Earthquake. Oh, come on! That's ball. And I probably don't have X attacks from picking stuff up either. I have Carbos. Oh, wait, never mind. That's not X speed. Stupid crap. If I knew Ice Beam wouldn't do enough chip damage, I would have used Earthquake. That means Earthquake should knock it down to healing range. Also, I didn't pay attention to if that thing had a frickin' Citrus Berry or not. Oh, come on! Can you not? Stupid crap. Does it have a Chesto Berry? Yes, that's why I didn't have a Citrus Berry. And watch my Earthquake misses with the double team. I just realized that I'll squeeze me, so it's just gonna freaking use ours again. Stupid trolling piece of crap. And it probably has. It probably freaking has Sleep Talk, too. Press Sleep Talk, Ice Beam. Nah, because he's gotta have a water or dragon attack. Show me freaking Sleep Talk. Nope. Come on. I need you to land. I don't want that thing resting again. Good. Well, I'm glad that I traded this. I think how I got it throwing on this thing was I traded it to my other emerald and used the TMI gun. Thank you. Caught on. Aha, uh -huh, excellent. Very well, you are the winner. From uh, you, I sense the brilliant shine of skill will overcome all. However, compared with me or even Wallace, you are lacking in elegance. Perhaps I should make you alone in my outfit? Haha, uh -huh, I'm merely Jeff. Rather than my clothes, I shall reward you with this, the rain badge. Need to keep this frickin' rated E for everyone for kids. Having the rain badge should uh, I'll show you the full beans of all your Pokemon, your every command. Rain badge also allows you the use of the HF water move waterfall to see how walls of casting water. So you never forget the battle we share. Take this. You surely will not freaking need this at all because it's waterfalls and you've already had surf for freaking well past third or so of the game. Water pulse and use it will occasionally confuse the target with ultrasonic waves. Trainers who have all gathered all the gym badges of Poland should make way to the ultimate destination. The Pokemon Lee travels to the easternmost reaches of Poland to the Isle to the Isle of Evergrande. There you shall find the Pokemon Lee. Wee wee wee. Also, if I browse, I had to backtrack. Any, I, I want to make myself do what I did, but yeah, whatever. You beat an even one who is supposed to be the best on all Hoenn. You can't be at this point and not have all the badges. It's not like being able to skip over freaking uh, Lieutenant Surge's gym in the original Gen 1 games and the remake Sleep Green and Fire Red. <laughs> so now I'll fly. Now that I have the gym badge, I'm going to do some backtracking for Waterfall. Um, I can't remember, there's three spots, I don't remember if there's any others, though, for backtracking, because there's a waterfall to the west of Fall Arbor, there's the waterfall 
on the Water Institute route to the west of Fort Tree, and then there's a uh, Meteor Falls. I don't think there's any other waterfall spots besides the one that goes to Evergrande, though. So anyway, go to Marvel City because for the one in the west of frickin' uh, Fort Tree, I'm gonna need to switch over to the Acro Bike. Now my floor, a lot of floor, floor tree, that's when I will heal my team at a Pokemon Center. I'm fairly certain I said this previously, but I'm not messing with the Safari Zone at all in this Let's Play. And again, since I can't do time-based events with the Chargers, I'm also not messing with anything at all for, um, Shoal Cave. Wait, maybe... Nope, not even that one. I'll probably deposit those in the DC2 and stuff in the PC. Max Ether. Hold on. I'll check, but there shouldn't be a hidden item on the other side. There may have been trainers added in, uh, in this area that were not here to remain sapphire, I don't know yet. Pond Dew Berries. So the only uh, game where there's actually trainers on this in this area is in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Rare candy. <clears throat> Now, deposit some of these items in the PC and then get the mock bike back. Let me see. Carbo, Zang, no protein in the PC. Okay, actually, here's what I'm going to do. First off, I'm gonna probably have nuggets deposited as well. Yes. So I'll just sell that one. Max Ether, Max Revive, Big Pearl, sell that as well. And the star pieces get deposit that. And that. And that. And then, uh. Okay, so withdraw the carbos. The power point up. The zinc. 
I should have the Pokemon Max. And then... For now... Protein... Carbos... Zinc... PowerPoint Max, and then I'll sell those two things. Also, three, a bunch of fives, and a six. If only there was something I could buy for just one pokey dollar. No, it is not. Oh, I forgot of the convenience of that. This goes right to the next area, which is wa for waterfall backtracking, which is freaking uh, Meteor Falls. So it's just that four star then. It wasn't the heart scale. Maybe it was a rare candy. I didn't pay enough attention to remember. As sad as that may sound. Um, hidden item over here maybe. over there. Seems like there would be over here. Nope. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe there's some more over here since you can only get back here by surfing. Oh, wait, never mind. It just looks like that. Also, kind of a random spot for just one little s square bit of water, but whatever. Um, is there anything here? the music here. I love the music in the remakes in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire and this place is absolutely freaking gorgeous in all our ads. <clears throat> I could be wrong, but I want to say this place even looks better than it did in Herbie Sapphire in this game, as far as, like, the color of the floor and the texture or whatever of it. But anyway, even though I kind of don't want to do this, I'm going to end this off here and then in, in, in 
take care of all we need for all walls in the next video, and then the next thing I'll be doing after that. So anyway, guys, that's it. That's it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. Bye, everybody.